and gentlemen, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire, coming today from Beckley's Campus Center to show you the Imagine. Now, this is the XLS series. This is the 22 RBE by Grand Design. Great floor plan. If you're looking for something under 26 foot, this might be just the right floor plan for you. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure to call. If you email or if you stop by Buckley's Camping Center, you ask for the Air Force guy, but let's get on to this camper. So up in the front, you know, your power tongue jack, 20 pound LP bottles. You're gonna have area in the back for two batteries if you wish to. Now this particular camper is just under 26 foot in length. Notice how they overlap the metal up in the front here. You've got your rock garden um, below, then you're gonna have two series of metal uh, overlapping, giving you less chance of having water damage getting inside of your camper. Down the off-door side, that's where all your hookups and everything are going to be. Of course, you do have an area for you to hook a solar panel up right here, the Furion solar panel. And then, of course, notice how the door, when you're opening it, that it has a magnet to hold it up. So this is where you have your connection for your city water. You can fill your fresh water tank here, as well as back just before the front of uh, the, the tires right there. But this is your storage. Good storage set back through here. You have lighting through here, cable hookup, satellite hookup, additional 110 power source right here. It's your outside shower. Battery disconnect, very important uh, for those of you uh, that you know are storing your camper, you're able to shut it off at that point. Now you know this camper is not very long. The kitchen is towards the front. You have the bathroom in the back, so you're gonna have two gray tanks on here. So one gray tank pole is gonna be here, although it is gonna empty back at, you're gonna have a single uh, exit port back towards the back. As I mentioned, this is where you can fill your fresh water tank if you wanted to as well. Coming back through here, again, this is where you'd hook up your sewer hose. So you'll be able to hook that up here and then your other poles are right here. That's all very convenient. And notice how they have a light for you out here. So in the event that you get to a campsite late at night, you're able to see what you're doing. Black tank rinse, very important for those of you that maybe remember back in the day, taking a hose into the camper, putting it down in the toilet to rinse your black tank. So that makes it a little bit easier. So this is the off door side. Moving around the back, you're gonna notice you have a ladder to get up on the roof. Up in the middle there, you have your, um, it's already wired and framed for your Furion rear observation camera. 110 connections on the back, spare tire. And then of course you can put your sewer hose in the uh, in the bumper there. So that's on the back side. Okay, so on this side of the, uh, on your door side, this is where your awning's in, notice it comes back to almost the back of the camper. You're gonna have a 110 outlet right here. So where you can hook up your electric skillets, you know, your mixer, whatever, whatever you want to hook up out here. And then of course to clean things off, you have a sprayer port over here. That way you clean things off on your campsite, put the fire out. Notice how the awning has the LED light strip. You do have the outside stereo speakers and notice it has a nice little blue light in that, which would be kind of like nice little light while you're camping. Okay, so on, this is your door side as well, looking towards the front. You see the uh, awning clears plenty of the door. You've got a big storage door up in the front here. Nice little grab handle for you to get in the coach. So let's go inside. So as you come in the door, this is what you're looking at going to the back side. Nice little room. This is a great couples coach. And you're going to notice, look at how wide the doorways are, even through the, uh, the bedroom, and the, because they're pocket doors, so it makes it very, very spacious. Utilization of space is phenomenal in this coach. Great counter space in the kitchen. As you can see, you have the lit oven. This is the Furion oven. So uh, you have the, the light for inside the oven, as you can see there. And of course, nice counter space. And then notice how you have the outlet down here. They have one there. And you also have one back here. Nice thing is they're down low. Makes it easy for you to plug it in high-rise faucet for your sink and then look at how nice and big that sink is then of course you have a little uh, sponge sponge place and then nice drawers and these drawers are nice and deep 
as you can see. Goes back far. You've got the nice big um, drawer for pots and pans. Notice how also they give you the instruction on how to winterize a normal operation. And of course your water, kind of hard for me to get back there, but your water pump is right up underneath here and the water heater is going to be back through here as well. But that just shows you, makes it very easy on what you're supposed to be doing. So as you come in the door, this is where you would go ahead and turn on your lights, put your slide out, your awning, turn your water heater on, check your levels. All that is right here, levels for your, for your tanks and so forth. You've got a stereo hidden back behind this cabinet here, so it's out of sight, out of mind. That is an AM FM CD stereo with a DD player. It also um, has Bluetooth, and you have an aux plug as well as a USB. So that's all right there. Now your TV is up high out of the way, but that is directly across from, as you can see, your theater seating. So now you, have, you see your table here. Now some people say, well, oh, boy, that's, that's weird. But this is a real, really cool uh, concept. Let me show you how this thing works. So this table, you're, well, the nice thing about this table, it can hold up to 30 pounds, by the way. But you're able to, if you move the center section out of the way, if you want, you could turn the table this way. But to take it off, it's very simple. All you're going to do is you remove the table from here. And this can be set out of the bed if you want. And then this just comes off. And as you can see, it's just a little V. And that's just going to go down in the section on the sofa. So to put it back on, very, very simple. Put that there. And then it's just a matter of putting the table on there as well and you're good to go. So also you're going to have your typical, um, typical RV refrigerator which will work on both uh, propane and 110. Of course you have the ducted AC in, in the roof here and that is a quieter AC. Do try that out when you, when you stop by. Have them plug it in so you can kind of see how that works. Notice how when you're going through the, the door here into the bathroom, being that it is a pocket door, it gives you a wider doorway. And look at all that floor space you have. Notice the heat duct is up off the floor. You do have an AC duct in the bathroom, a window. And then of course, look at the medicine cabinet you have behind here. So you've got good storage inside your, uh, the cabinet in here. Great counter space for you. You do have a 110 outlet. It's up out of the way. It's right up here. And then of course you have a nice drawer. This drawer is deep. You can see, look at how, how far that uh, drawer pulls out. This is where you get to your water heater, the back of your water heater, back here. But that is that. Now you also have a few cubbies back behind your toilet here. And as you can see, gives you a place where you put some towels and so forth. And then look at how big the shower is. Good size shower, you've got places you can um, put things on there. You have the uh, skylight in the roof. That is a nice size shower, and you're not stepping up much to get inside of it either. Now you also have a little uh, vent fan in the bathroom. Nice thing with this versus a Max, you know, the Fantastic fans, is you don't have to open a window. So, you know, in cold weather or hot weather, you're not pulling in that adverse weather while you're using the fan. You're just uh, exhausting any of the steam, or if you're cooking, you're just getting rid of that. So that is the bathroom. So going into the bedroom, of course, you're going to see the fire extinguisher as you come in the door. You also have a motion sensor light as you come in the door. Nice thing with that, you can set that. If it's dark out, you're coming in, it's going to turn on. You're not having to futz around trying to find out where the, where the uh, switches are. Now, this is going to have a real queen bed, meaning residential queen. It's not the RV queen. RV queen is about six to eight inches shorter than a uh, residential queen. So this is really 60 by 80. That way there are your sheets and bedding materials from home with a residential queen will fit onto this mattress or it makes it very easy for you to swap out the mattress you can see you have lighting inside you have a vent you can put it uh you can put a vent fan in here if you wanted to has room for a tv you're going to have a window on both sides and then look at your cab it's up along top and on either side here's your window you're going to have a 110 outlet on both sides of your bed and then on the other side you're also going to have a usb port uh, makes it easy for you when you're going to um, need to charge things. And you've got a little place where you can um, set your, your phone or whatever you're looking to charge. 
Other nice thing I like about this is the fact that this bed does lift up and you have storage under it. You can lift that up and you don't need to use your head to hold it up. As you can see, it gets up high out of the way and look at that storage. It's some pretty good storage in there. And of course you do have the heat duct back there on the, on the wall. You have one there, you have one here, you have one in the kitchen and then one in the bathroom. So you're gonna have heat going around and also notice the toe kicks underneath of your cabinets. Makes it very nice when you're preparing food and so forth. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. This is the 2019 22 RBE. Imagine it's the XLX series by Grand Design. For more information on this camper or any others, be sure that if you call, if you email, or if you stop by Beckley's Camping Center, you ask for the Air Force guy, be glad to help you. If there's another um, model, another RV that you'd like me to review for you, by all means, shoot me a comment. My contact information, as well as the specs and pricing for this unit will be down below this video. I do appreciate you watching, and we'll be coming back at you again soon. Take care.